<laughs> Welcome to the Blunt Pond, where I speak my man and you can see us. It's gonna be an interesting weekend, it's a super weekend where we've got Arsenal versus Manchester City and Chelsea versus Liverpool. It's gonna be big. Let's see what people are saying around the world. Let's go people, let's go! The first game this weekend is Arsenal versus Manchester City at 12.30 kickoff time. Listen people, Arsenal played Chelsea last week and because of that, a lot of Arsenal fans are full of depression. None of them are confident that they're going to be able to beat Manchester City. Because of what Lukaku did to them, Lukaku tore them apart and ate them for breakfast and I think that's really got into a lot of Arsenal fans. Listen people, every Arsenal fan I have asked predicted that we're going to lose to Manchester City. Have a look at what they're saying right now. He said the Man City is going to win comfortably. Mm. It's going to be probably 2-0 or 3-1. I would say 2-0. Uh, we'll probably lose. I mean, my hope is that we just give a good account of ourselves. Let's, 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 I don't mind losing. I don't mind losing to Man City. But show passion. Yeah, Let them exactly. work. Let what them is, work. What, 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 what's the point of showing passion if you are still going to lose? I'm know? hoping for 1-0. One 1-0 one, one nil is... 1-0 nil defeat. <laughs> You guys agree with those Arsenal fans right now? Listen, everyone is depressed. I get it. But should they be going into that game with negativity or positivity? Some of them are even saying that they're going to be positive if they lose just by 1 nil. Man, it's getting really crazy out here. The second game of the weekend is a Liverpool versus Chelsea people. And Ian Rice simply said, Lukaku is not afraid of Van Dijk and Van Dijk is not afraid of Lukaku. Is that so? Let's have a look at what Baba Ian Rice is saying, people. It's a game that he'll probably look forward to, but he's not, he's not afraid of Lukaku, just like Lukaku's not afraid of him. Lukaku, for me, if I'm going to play against Liverpool, the first thing I'll do, match myself up against Matic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to go on Virgil van Dijk. If they change it and then all of a sudden you see like when we used to play, you know, you put yourself on somebody to find out am I going to get man marked today by Des Walker. So I go stand on the other guy, then Des Walker go, hey, I'll switch. You know you're going to be um, being marked by D Des Walker. But for me, I go and stand on him. And then if that's the case and they swap, then you know. But Virgil van Dijk needs this game. Needs this game, the amount of time he's been out, he needs this test. And if he comes through this test against a Romelu Lukaku that's playing like he's playing, then we know that Virgil van Dijk is back. But it's, it's a great matchup because I, I do want to see them up against each other. Because a lot of people are forgetting that Lukaku tore a weak Arsenal side apart. I don't think that is a yardstick to be measuring how good Lukaku is until he meets someone like Manchester City or Chelsea who is going to be meeting this weekend. Then we can say whether or not Lukaku is back. Listen, that's just my opinion, but what do I know? Talking about Chelsea people, Jorginho just won the best player in Europe. Can you believe that, people? Everyone is taking his Kante. What people are saying, oh, Kante won the best midfielder. Why would this other guy in Jojo then win the best player? It doesn't make sense. But then again, people forget that he actually won the Europe Cup with Italy. That actually speaks a lot of volume. Listen, everyone has got their own opinion. I don't really care about that. But congratulations to you, Jojo. Here's what a lot of people are saying about him, especially Joe Cole, who is a former Chelsea legend. And Jorginho, player of the season. It's what? been a slow burn for him. You said you couldn't it, believe it, Joe, off camera. <laughs> getting the recognition now. What, what an achievement for the lad from where he was at the start of the season. You know, it was like, you know, it was, was he going to play at Chelsea? You know, was he going to be part of the plans? And he, he's turned around. Um, the, the back end of that, the whole, could have been any one of the Chelsea's 11. Because when he, Thomas Tuchel come in, they, they galvanised them. Kante was extraordinary you know, in the semi-finals and the final. Jorginho, he, 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 he probes, he passes, you know, to win that award what, and the final. But Jorginho, he, 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 he probes, he passes, you know, to win that award, what an achievement for him. And, and again, the, the journey for young players who, who, who may be out of sorts, out of favour, you know, how quickly football can turn yeah. around. And I, I think his interview was great. He thanked the people who doubted him. And, yeah. and that's a great, Example for young footballers out there, you know, drove him, drove, you know, some, not everyone's going to fancy him, you know, and he's gone in there and he's won, he's won two of the biggest trophies he can win. Yes, people, make sure you drop your comments below. I want to hear your opinions about the Arsenal versus Manchester City game and Liverpool versus Chelsea. It's very important you comment below and make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon as well. It's your boy, the Blunt Pony Lovers, will be lovers. Haters will be haters. I'm out of here, people. Take care and bye.
Hello guys, I'm really glad you enjoyed that video. And one more thing you have to do for me, make sure you like, share and subscribe, please. And while you subscribe, make sure you click the bell icon as well, not to miss any of my videos. Thank you very much guys. Bye. <laughs>